All right, Oscar, tell me what's going on in this room. What's the problem? Um, the lever is not coming up or going down. Which lever? This one. Oh, so it's stuck. Yeah, it's stuck. So, what have you tried? Um, I, I tried to twist it and they didn't want to, they didn't want to loosen. Yeah. So now we're going to try to hit it up with the torch. So what's happening is if we twist this part too much, mm -hmm. um, if we try to turn that, the pipe inside that goes from here up into the bottom, there's a, uh, there's a, a, a 90 degree turn, an elbow. And what ends up happening is when we turn this, we crack that elbow in, in the back of the wall. And then we end up getting a tiny leak only when someone does the shower. If you just turn on water and water comes out here, no leak. But the moment you pull up on this and you activate the shower head, this pipe from here up to the bottom gets pressurized and a little tiny little squirt of water starts jetting out. And so what I'm gonna show you is if we heat this connection right here with a torch, it'll make it a lot easier and you can actually twist this by hand without damaging the pipe inside. All right, so Oscar, this is the tool we're gonna to use. It's basically just a map gas torch. And what we're gonna do is we're, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna heat. You wanna heat right about in this area here from below all the way around. And we're just gonna heat that up and what we're gonna do is we're breaking that connection inside. And as soon as you, uh, we'll just do it for maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. It doesn't take long. And then you can just take a towel like this, wrap it around there and you can just twist it open. You can actually hear it uh, sizzle the water. So I would just hold it right there for, and your connection is probably right about here, somewhere about here. Yeah, you see, you're cooking that water. <laughs> so just move it around here, go underneath, right about there. tools needed. Just some superhero strength <clears throat> monster. <laughs> and just be careful, that is hot. Awesome. All right, so now let's look at the inside. So the inside, because of that, uh, whoops, hang on, there we go. Because of that water, and that part is metal, and when that metal is touching this metal here, which is copper, these two will tend to uh, do something that's what's called galvanic corrosion. And basically they just rust and they lock each other up. So that's it. Now you're ready to put the new, new guy in. Pretty Sounds easy, right? Good. Yes, pretty easy. Oops. Pretty easy, right? Yes. <laughs> 